Good morning, guys. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Your Friday in the house, my favorite day of the week, as usual. Giving God thanks for life, you know. So, yesterday's match featured the following schools Aggie Quad a Geese, the boys of Aggie Quad a Geese, versus the great St. George's College. Now, didn't I tell you? George's was gonna cause an upset. I I I told you that judges were the judges was gonna be the upsetter. And in this case, they were got them upset me bad last night. Whew, sir. I judges wanna do a thing last night. Let me tell you, say if this was so you think you can dance, judges did a perfect rendition of the moon slide. Last night, people. Let me tell you what judges do to me last night. Kind of know, say, but they have hopes. So, they would have been the one that would have prevailed and at least reached quarterfinals this year because I like how them start out. And as we say, it's a new batch. This batch did serious and this, this batch did proper. You know, big up, big up the girl from the team too because she, she did her thing too as well. So, the opening round ended with. Woomers on eight, I think it was, and George's on five. They had a three-point lead. I'm gonna lie. When the second minute of the speed section ended, they say Woolmers open up a rated gap like them just woo. The man them just say yo, back, back, back. Get thee behind me. They had a ten-point lead going into the buzzer section. No. Here is how PJ became very optimistic. Optimistic, and let me tell you why that was triggered. Charges, they were the first on the buzzer. They were the first to hit the buzzer. Like in terms of percentage wise, I'd, percentage wise, I'd say seventy percent of the buzzer section was dominated by Charges in terms of them beating the buzzer, or getting to the buzzer quickly. During the match, we see, we see that the gap start close. We see it start close. We see who land they? Charges. 29 then me say Woolmer's 33 me say what yeah yeah baby bring it home for mama bring it home for mama at that point I'm here like the soundtrack for Karate Kid I play you know it's a Karate Kid when when the youth foot broke and him jump on the one foot and then just let go the big kick and just down the bread drain at them the moment me look for say yeah judges bring it home for mama I don't know what to go away the buzzing start and my lord it was downhill from there people is literally like me i watch a, a movie and it's like when every time judge slap the boss it does i hear a wrong answer wrong answer so every time i'm touch it i was like no george no no and it went down and down. But the next five questions after that, judges kept buzzing in. It was just done. The score ended on Woolmans on 41 and Judge span 21. Oh, they reached. Don't they say only God knows. But I lauded Woolmans in ability to remain you know composed they weren't trigger happy they, they never lost focus so this 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 commentary is really about you know instilling hope in me charges you really gave me that last glimmer of hope like i felt like mr miyagi at one point in time say daniel son you know wax on wax off young people don't know what me at all you need to go watch karate kid that are the, that are the, or the original karate kid watch them over there yeah um but as i said if this team comes back next year you know i'll still be rooting for you you know i'm in your corner judges i'm in your corner right when i'm not giving up on you yet i'm not giving up on y'all okay um woman's they, they were clearly the more dominant of the two from the rounds started i won't even go on the thing woman's i'm not doing the thing so I'm looking for great things in the quarterfinals. I I I and I'm gonna think Arden are gonna win it this year. I don't think Arden is gonna win based off what I've seen so far. 